Hi everyone. In case you are wondering about the various technical designations and their roles in the IT industry, this video is for you. Before we go into these details, I would like to emphasize that each and every team is unique and these titles and roles tend to differ from company to company. These roles can be assigned or delegated as per organization's needs and goals. This is just a general framework and will give you a basic idea of what different designations and titles are. Most importantly, even though giving titles is like tradition, you must not feel stuck with a particular title as it's the skills, performance and consistency that matters the most. Now that you have some motivation kicking in, I'll start with entry level roles to senior level along with what work is required in that particular role. So we begin with the intern developer. So you are fresh out of college and you want to make it big in the industry. Even though you might have the skills, but you will have to work it out on the experience path to climb up the ladder. Intern developers are usually involved in doing smaller, less critical tasks such as testing sites for bugs and different coding issues. Companies give classroom training to such candidates as well. The next step is the junior developer. You are now done with the training part and will be put to do tasks that are much more accountable than before. You will be assigned tasks according to your capabilities and will be monitored by a senior team member. As the title suggests, it would be a junior role, so emphasis would be on learning and getting things done faster and efficiently. Depending upon your capabilities and interests, you will now be called a developer. For example, if you are into front-end technologies, you will be called a front-end developer. There is no set rules on how soon can you progress from being an intern to a developer, but usually it takes about two to three years. With time and experience, you may be called an engineer instead of developer, but that again depends on company to company. With almost four to five years of experience under your belt, you may now be given the designation of a senior developer. However, the majority of the roles and responsibilities may still be the same, but your management might start including you in client business meetings, internal meetings, where you will be exposed to how things work on the business side. So you have been working for almost seven to eight years now and have excellent hands-on experience with the entire SDLC, that is software development life cycle. You will be given the post of a tech lead which means now you will have your own team of developers and senior candidates working on various projects. How the team performs, how the deadlines are met, how the project is executed within the budget would be your responsibility. You need to get involved in majorly areas where something needs to be presented to the client. A project manager is primarily involved in getting optimum results by communicating job expectations planning, monitoring, and appraising job results, coaching, counseling, and disciplining employees, initiating, coordinating, and enforcing systems, policies, and procedures. PM will be accountable for one of several projects depending on the company's needs. PM's team will have tech lead, senior and junior developers, and needs to make sure that the entire project is completed within the specified time frame and budget. An architect possesses leadership qualities, seeks to continually improve their skill set, and serves as the team leader for the innovation and creation of products along with its program features. They seek to manage and facilitate the proper design of large websites or programs within products. From software coding to innovative design, an architect is the key to create a seamless software experience for customers 
working on both technical and design aspects of a project. Some companies directly appoint a chief architect who evaluates the technological needs of employees and client users to inform the company on software and program planning and development. Here comes a big gun in the company. The CTO role can comprise one specific domain responsibility or can have multiple roles all bundled up in one. Let's say for example, if it is a tech startup, the CTO is often the technical co-founder and might assume other roles as well, such as training, marketing or operations. In the majority of the organizations, the CTO role has multiple hats. They might participate in day-to-day -day activities, business meetings, sales and marketing, etc. They also set the developmental vision of the company, paving a roadmap for the team to work towards. The position of the utmost authority of an organization is CEO. CEO sets the vision of the company from deciding who will run what part of the company along with figuring out the core team. The CEO is a spearhead of the organization. Mostly CEOs are also the public face of the company. As we discussed about the CTO role, the CEO also wears multiple hats. But at the end of the day, if there is an important decision to be taken, there is no higher authority than a CEO. If you are a CEO of a company, people will look up to you for all the things important and you will be responsible for the decision you take. So what we discussed are generic roles under which majority of the organizations fall. Now there can be various IT departments such as development, DevOps, test team, architecture, operations, customer client support, research and development, design, quality assurance, etc. Each department can have a set of their own interns, juniors, seniors and lead role resources. What organization structure suits the best depends on a lot of factors, but the basics remain the same more or less. I'm sure you will have a fair idea by now about the various roles in an IT company. Mind you, I have focused on the technical part of it, not discussing the marketing or other divisions, right? Just a summary of technical roles I have described in this video. Does your company have other roles other than the ones we discussed? Let us know in the comments section below. Thank you.